far you go, man cannot escape his fate. Thanks so much for being with us today. Brian. Thank you. And for being on Palm Beach Rocks. Thank you. I'm so excited. I think I'm even nervous. Rocks I love and you. rock here. It's so cool. <laughs> I know. Yes, you definitely do rock rock. <laughs> so tell me, this is such an exciting uh, film that's coming out, uh, a demigod Hercules. Very exciting. It is. And I have to say that you look a little different in this film. I'm kind of seeing some hair, this very cool headdress. Was that hard to wear? Um, well, the lion headdress was a big pain <clears throat> because it taught, you can't really tighten it up too much. So that was that was a pain to wear. Uh, the long hair and the beard, we went out and we got the most incredible uh, wig makers and designers in Hollywood, Oscar winners uh, and nominated uh, for wigs and makeup and everything. So we had a great team and it was a three hour process. Um, so I, I appreciate uh, as women, what you go through with them. Take care of your hair and <laughs> make yourself beautiful. And so it was, uh, it was a long process, but well worth it. Right. Now, what was it like when you went out for this role? Well, it was a lot of, it was a lot of hard work. I think the prep. So it was, it was an eight-month prep. I just wrapped Fast and Furious Six, and we were in London shooting, and then I immediately went into the prep of this, and it was an eight-month process. Uh, grueling training, diet. Again, you get one shot at making Hercules. You gotta make it right, you gotta look the part. And I also felt that, I felt that being an older man, I felt that it was, the timing was right to be Hercules. Like in, in my mind, I never saw him as a younger kid or a guy or anything, like he was a guy who's lived and gone through terrible things with his family um, and overcome that. So it was a long process. The training was long, uh, diet was long, but well worth it. Here we are. Yeah, you look fantastic. I Thank mean, you. I think they picked the right Hercules Thank for you. sure. <laughs> and I think it's a lot of fun. And, and you're right, you're, the script is uh, very smartly written. I think that it shows you in a whole different aspect, a whole different way of seeing Hercules or what I grew up with. Yeah, well, you know, and what I grew up with too, by the way, with, there was a version of Hercules that we grew up with. I think the one of the smart things about the script was to take the, the mythology and a well-loved and honored uh, time-honored mythology of Hercules and the 12 labors and Hera and Zeus um, and uniquely put different spins on everything but still honor um, the mythology so I was very happy with the script that came in happy with the filmmakers Brett Ratner I was very happy with everything. great yeah. yeah great cast and I think the beasts yeah those look pretty cool <laughs> they were great were by they? the way they were so super cool so that's the one thing you like it with Hercules you have the club and you can fight and there's these amazing battles that we had and then on the other end of that then you start shooting these scenes that involve the 12 labors and the 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 big uh, the Hydra and the serpents and the Cerberus the three-headed Wolfhounds and the big Namian lion. I, you know, it was really, really a lot of fun. Really cool. Very cool. I like it when you're coming out of the water with the. Uh, oh, I loved great all that. Great scenes. Yeah. <laughs> did you have one that you loved the very best? When you saw it and you just said, aha, this is the moment. I did, honestly. I, I love the. You know, there's an iconic moment in the, the mythology of Hercules where he's chained and he finally breaks free and he accepts his faith and his inner power and he becomes. And he becomes Hercules.